previously on Walton High. Chloe, don't do this. Chloe, listen! Chloe. You going to Megan's funeral? Of course I am. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to tell you this, but my cousin's coming to the funeral. Her name's Frankie. Oh, that's nice. She's coming to our school now as well. Does she know about the murderer? Of course. I wish we could find the murderer. Same. This just in. Breaking news. Hi, I'm Trisha Brooklyn, and we're breaking news. And... 17 year old girl's body was just found on Dover Beach near the jail in Nottingham. So, um, we'll take, we'll show you the 17 year old girl. We had, um, a witness who was in the, at the crime of, uh, the young, at the young girl's death. And, um, he said that he killed, she killed him herself because one of her friends died he said the name of the person who died who was a friend was Megan yeah Megan or something I don't know but yeah thank you for letting us report this and we hope you have a good time see ya oh my god Chloe's dead as well oh my gosh God, this is too sad. We better get to the funeral quick. Yeah, we don't want to miss seeing Megan. God, we need to find out who, keeps, who killed Megan, though. Yeah. Okay, so, um, today we are at Jess, or Megan, you can call her whatever, funeral. Uh, well, we have some people here to make some speeches. Um, me and Jess were friends since she came to our school, Colton High. Um, we simply clicked. She was a nice, kind girl, just like myself. If I say so myself. Um, it's really heartbreaking that she disappeared. I wish I had been there. Because, yeah, we should have been there with her and stuck up for her. I just wish we could find the murderer. Thank you. Here we are, just park up. Okay. Ow. You two are just in time, as it's your turn to do the speech. Okay. Well, Megan was really, really nice. I didn't get to meet her after a couple of weeks until she got to boarding school. Um, she's like really quiet inside. But I know she's quite amazing inside. It's really scary seeing Megan, you know. She did nothing wrong. I wish it could have been a me instead of her. And yeah, that's what I'd say. Thank you. Um, hello? Who are you? Oh, don't you remember me, Chantel? I was in your class when in the third grade. I know all about you. No, you don't. Oh, yes, I do. I even know that you killed Megan. What? That's so untrue. No, it isn't. I have the whole story. Do you want me to tell you? If you please, please tell us. Yeah. If she's lying. Just listen to my story. And I promise it's all true. Once I was walking. And then 
I saw Megan and you. So I hid behind and listened. That's they were having an story. argument about something. You promised. You double promised. You did every pinky promise and you broke your promise. I do not think we can be friends anymore. Good. Because I already have another friend and I don't want you as my friend, you lunatic. Why did you talk call, call me a lunatic? Because you are one. You want to fight? Bring it. I can take you down easily. Oh, really? Ah! <laughs> I saw the whole thing. That story is so not true. Oh, really? Pass me your phone then. What? No! Chantal just passes her. She's not gonna prove anything. You don't have anything on there. Fine. Ha uh ha! -huh. Look what we have here. Messages. Megan. <laughs> you pet. You promised. Why did you break your promise? She pet. I don't like you. I wish we weren't friends. Then you pet. Fine, I wish you'd go away, you idiot. I made myself clear. <laughs> what? It's, it wasn't about that. It's different. Really? So different? I don't think so. Face it up now. You're going to jail. Anyway, see ya. She's not telling the truth. Oh, Chantal, it looks like she's telling the truth. She's not! Just believe me! Hmm. <laughs>